The Bernina 570 Quilters Edition has a wonderful set of alphabets that you can combine to create quilt labels or personalize the, your next project. I've even sewn on paper and made my own greeting cards. So we're working through some of the different menus with applique, with the decorative stitches that we can put into memory and create all new stitch combinations. To get into your memory, start by touching the plus button. So if I have something already in here, which I do, start by going to the I and touching the trash can until everything has disappeared. So right now, if you were to close the memory, you'll get back to what you're used to seeing where as you pick a stitch, it shows up. But if you've ever touched the plus and realized, hey, where did all my stitches go? This is you getting into the machines combi mode as it's called. So it's waiting for you to put a stitch in. Now we talked about uh, another video that we've been doing with decorative stitches, but in this one we want to highlight the alphabet section. When you touch the A and with the memory open, you'll see that once we start picking our alphabets, they will start to appear like they're going to be stitched. So this is the easiest way to see your stitches. Or you can touch this little arrow off to the side and it'll open up your menu a little bigger, plus give you your stitches shown at the top. So if you're putting in a lot of letters, you can make sure that your head doesn't get tilted as you're trying to read them on that sideways level. Now do note that you've got uppercase, you have lowercase letters, numbers and punctuation, including a space. So when you're ready to space out your words, look for this symbol here. So if we go back to the uh, first one, the capital letters, let's go ahead and stitch this upper and lower case. Let's just go ahead and put in Bernina. And to get this to appear on your screen, touch the little arrow to kind of collapse that all the way down and you can see all your letters in place. Now you can actually, whichever letter is highlighted, you can make it wider, longer, you can touch the eye for information and even do other things like mirror image it, not that you probably would with the letters, but you sure can do that. So you've got lots of options to uh, adjust any of the alphabets you want to stitch. Now speaking of stitching, let me show you what we need to know for this to turn out and to only sew it one time. Probably the most common question people ask. What we're gonna do is as I start to sew, I'm gonna watch the screen and when the last letter becomes highlighted and starts to stitch, I'll be touching the pattern end button on the front of the machine. This will tell the machine that to stop after that last letter and to lock and then let it end. So then that way you're not gonna get that capital B starting over again. Now since I'm down in my sequence here, a quick way to get back to the very beginning is to touch pattern begin and that quickly puts us back to the very first stitch of this sequence. Let's go ahead and stitch it out. I'm gonna use the start stop button and then that way I don't have to hold my foot on the foot control. And while it's stitching, again, I'm watching the screen as it's stitching out each of the letters. And if it's going too fast, slow it down. It's on the I, the N, and here is the last letter, the A. I've touched the pattern end button. It will finish up that letter and finish with the final cut and lock stitch. So a lot of times when you're looking to get just one repeat of a word or, or sentence that you've touched or programmed in, you do need to watch for that last letter to come up. Normally you do not trim out the stitches between these letters, leave them connected because they're not actually locked in between each of those. And if you're looking to do something with more than one line, put in each line, stitch it, and then put in your next line, stitch it, and put in your third line and stitch it. That is the easiest way to do multiple lines for say something like a quilt label. If you wanna save it, touch the X if you've got anything up and touch the heart to open up the memory. To save it, you're looking for the folder with the arrow pointing into it, touch that one 
and it shows you uh, this is what you want to save and the check mark says yes. So one more trick about retrieving something from the memory. Let's go ahead, I'm going to go out of the memory and let's say we've turned the machine off and we've turned it back on for the day. When you go to the heart, you will notice that you only have one folder with an arrow pointing out of it. And these are for your personal program and you're not going to find your words that we just saved in here. What you have to do is touch the plus. Then you notice an extra folder here. Now it did appear because that was the last thing that I actually put in, but if it hadn't, so let's just say we were to delete out each of these letters and we had an empty part when we opened it, we will touch the second folder with the three little boxes on it with the arrow pointing up and then I can touch and retrieve the memory that I want to stitch. Also, if you want to delete a memory, touch the trash can and it will take you to a screen of do you want to delete it and yes, I will delete that and I'm actually going to delete both of these so you can see that those are no longer there. So I hope you'll try out some of the stitch combinations. Try putting it into your memory and then also practice retrieving it and have some fun personalizing your next project.